Hey everyone, Mr. Sugeno here. In today's video, I'm going to go over the best Game Boy Advance emulators on the Android platform. Let's get started. First and foremost, I do want to apologize about my voice. I am fighting a cold right now, so if I do sound a little raspy, it's because I am struggling to speak. But we'll take a look at these emulators and I'll try to make it as quick as possible. Now, if you have a lower end device, an older phone, uh, an older tablet, then I would definitely recommend trying out My Boy Free. Uh, there are two versions of this emulator. There is My Boy Free, as well as a paid version if you like it, and it is My Boy GBA emulator. It is $6.49 in Canada, a little cheaper in the States. Now the free version does have a little less than the paid version. There are ads in the free version. Uh, you can always put your phone into airplane mode uh, when you are using this emulator, and that will kill the ads. Um, Additionally, this emulator is updated fairly frequently. The last time it was updated is October 9th, 2018, and it's got over 10 million installs. So here is my boy emulator up and running. I'm running uh, Street Fighter 2 Turbo Revival on the Game Boy Advance. I am using a Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Um, you can see here it runs fairly smoothly. This emulator works with older devices. It works with newer devices. It runs very smoothly. If you're looking for an accurate Game Boy Advance emulation, um, my boy isn't the most accurate emulator out there, but it works. What I like too about this emulator is that the controls are very simple. Uh, everything is laid out nicely. The app is very simple to use. So if you want something that's easy, that's simple, that just works, My Boy will be probably the way you want to go. There's My Boy Free and the paid version. The paid version doesn't have ads. It has a few more bells and whistles added to it. Uh, and it does flip between uh, landscape and portrait mode very easily. This emulator also supports Bluetooth controllers, so if you are using one of those, which I would highly recommend using with the Game Boy Advance, uh, this emulator will support it. And this one works very easily with minimal setup. If you go into the options here in settings, you can click on advanced, for example, you can already see a speed hack is enabled. Uh, enable low level BIOS emulation is not enabled. So you can fiddle around with here. There are options for more expert users if need be. Now, if you are a more advanced Android user, an emulator user, or would like a more accurate emulator, then RetroArch is the way to go. This emulator is 100% free and has very, very, very accurate Game Boy Advance emulation. However, RetroArch may not run the best or the smoothest on an older phone or slower hardware, and it does take up a bit of memory. Where my boy has a footprint of roughly two to three megabytes. RetroArch has a footprint of usually over a hundred megabytes once you download the cores. It supports more than just Game Boy Advance, it supports a whole host of systems, and it's really one-stop shopping for everything emulation on Android. There are very few things that RetroArch doesn't do well, uh, one of those being simple to use. So this emulator is a more complicated application to use and get up and running. For example, I'm in RetroArch here. These are all the systems that it emulates. It's a huge list that I can scroll through. You can see 2048, 3D Engine, uh, Final Burn Alpha Arcade. There's MAME on here, Atari, all the way from the 2600, 5200, 7800, Jaguar, Lynx. If you scroll all the way down here to Nintendo Game Boy Advance, there are different cores that you can use. And with the Game Boy Advance, your experience with each core will vary greatly. So RetroArch is really the overlay that you're using. The core is the meat and potatoes of what's going to run your game. So the best, the best core to use for most accurate Game Boy Advance emulation on Android is the MGBA core that RetroArch offers. Another core to try out is VBA and that is an option if MGBA does not work well on your phone. And here is Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo Revival running using MGBA on RetroArch. It is a much better experience overall if your phone can support it. It's more accurate and more true to the original Game Boy Advance hardware. 
This emulator also supports a Bluetooth controller. It does work well in also landscape and portrait mode. You can see here when I switch to landscape, all I have to do is switch the control setups and it, it, it goes back to a landscape proper controller layout. Um, by default, everything looks stretched. Also, if it's in landscape and you switch it over to portrait mode, you can see that the controls also get a little messed up. So this emulator is a little more uh, involved and harder to use than my boy. So those are my recommendations for Game Boy Advance emulation on Android. If you have a lower end device, try my boy. If you have a higher end device or want more accurate emulation, then try RetroArch. They both have the pros and cons. The best part about it is My Boy Free is free, so you can definitely try it out. RetroArch is also free, and you can definitely try it out. Different phones, different devices will run emulators differently. So one emulator might perform better than another depending on your device. Anyways, that's all I've got for today. If you like my video, leave a like. If you didn't like my video, leave a like. Let me know what you think about the video in the comments below if you have any other recommendations. I've viewed almost all of them on the Play Store. I've in-depth researched them and looked at them and these on in my opinion are the best two available on the google play store so hit that subscribe button check out my other videos thank you everyone take care